it'll suffice to say that EMMs have a huge wall around them, at what I call the wall of denial. They are, they are unable to, they're unwilling to understand what's wrong with them. They just can't do it. It's not that they're obstinate. It's not that they're argumentative, which they are. They just don't have the psychological capacity to understand what's wrong with them, and they typically project what's wrong with them onto others, blame others, um, deny their problems. Personality disordered individuals as a whole are very difficult to work with. Their own established stuff on YouTube still name drop me. Why do you have to do that? Oh, because you want more views. It's not because you think it's creative content. It's not because you think it's fun and original. Because you already have your own fun and original creative content. You saw this, oh, this bandwagon mentality. Ride that wave, right? You got to ride the wave of popularity. So if the cool in thing is to make fun of Phil, you better do it. You better do it now before people don't care about it anymore, right? So go ahead. Make your raps. Make your montages. Make your bullshit. Because not one of you has a fucking ounce of creativity anywhere close to anything that I've ever done. What's up, boss? Is it time? Yes, Phil, it is time. Round up the other minions. Don your face cam with obnoxious genitalia jokes and don't report back until you've spoiled the whole game as soon as possible. Yes, ma'am. But... Uh, but what, Phil? Hurry it up! Well, the public has been talking, okay? And they kinda wanna know... <clears throat> Isn't it about time we improve our commentary, quality standards, and edit out the parts where we get lost forever? Wait... Are you saying we use... Well, they call it effort and... No! Get with the times, you try hard! Time and effort doesn't sell anymore! Now get your ass moving, or else the YouTube search results will be tolerable for a whole day! Fine, I'm going, God! Oh, come on! <clears throat> and anyone who does do this, by the way, completely out of context, because it's hilarious when you watch this content, that it's all based off of these hater videos who are all skewed things. Phil's the worst gamer on the planet. Whenever he runs into something that's challenging, he complains and he blames the game developers. Well, yeah, if you just watch my Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 playthroughs, you might think that. But if you ever watch any of my content... Just case in point, recently, my Dark Souls 2 playthrough, you're immediately proven false. But there you go. Based off of a misconception, based off of this internet fad, you made a stupid video that's completely out of context and you look like a fucking ass. But the bottom line is, it's popular to make fun of me, so big deal. You made your money, woohoo, you got your views, you're so special, right? You're so fucking special. <clears throat> Good for you. Good for you on all your accomplishments and originality in life. Being great negative people who hate on people and just say nasty shit. You're great people. Really. And one of the, the, the major criterion of all personality disorders, especially the EMM disorders, is they can't see the problem because the problem is them. The problem is a crystallized personality. When you can't see the problem and you're unable to reflect and acknowledge a problem, naturally you see it in other people. These are very, very difficult people to work um, with in therapy. Um, who here works with, um, a with emotional manipulators? They're very hard. They're very difficult. They're challenging. They, I mean, they, they make us want to go to therapy. Um, it, and, and clinical supervision is very important for these clients because they, you have to be very, very healthy and very, very determined and patient because these, these individuals have a hard time 
understanding psychological concepts. They have an impaired thinking, impaired mood, um, moods. They have um, impaired control of their impulses. Their relationships are often chaotic and dysfunctional. They have trouble perceiving and relating to situations and people. They have rigid and inflexible thought and behavior patterns. They, re they resist change. Despite consequence, they just can't or won't change. You can't change a problem if you don't think you have a problem. But worse than that, you can't change a problem if the person thinks you're the problem. I mean, what do you do with that? If you're codependent, you say, I'm sorry, and I'll, I'll be better. Or you walk around angry and, trying to, and, and try to um, um, get the person to, to do what you want him to do. And we go back to the original slide of the training. Their, their personalities are deeply ingrained. They're unaware of the harm that they cause. And as I said earlier, they commonly project blame onto others. <clears throat> oh boy, are you people ever going to get a rude awakening if after death, in the afterlife, there actually is someone who judges you for what you did in life? <laughs> oh my goodness, are you going to get a rude awakening? Because who knows what's, what's after death, you know? But you know what? You're alive now. It's on the internet. You're, you know, you can hide behind your computers and do what you want, so go ahead and do it. So there you go. I gotta tell you the truth, folks. I gotta tell you the truth. When it comes to bullshit, big time, major league bullshit, you have to stand in awe, in awe of the all-time champion of false promises and exaggerated claims, religion. No contest. No contest. Religion. Religion easily has the greatest bullshit story ever told. Think about it. Religion has actually convinced people that there's an invisible man living in the sky who watches everything you do every minute of every day. And the invisible man has a special list of ten things he does not want you to do. And if you do any of these ten things, he has a special place full of fire and smoke and burning and torture and anguish where he will send you to live and suffer and burn and choke and scream and cry forever and ever till the end of time. But he loves you. He loves you. He loves you and he needs money. He always needs money. He's all powerful, all perfect, all knowing and all wise. Somehow, just can't handle money. <laughs> Religion takes in billions of dollars. They pay no taxes and they always need a little more. Now, you talk about a good bullshit story. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs>